Hello and welcome to my channel. Here I have the Sondercraft Farzug, or known as the SDKFZ.7. This is the AA version, so it has the 37mm cannon on it. Or no, yeah, 37mm. Uh, yeah, this is what it looks like from the outside. Nothing too special. I did add this uh, trailer here, it's just loaded with fuel, but you can always detach it if you wanted to, like that. But uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to operate it and some of the special features it has. So uh, in the driver's seat, the cabin's not too special, it just has dials, seats and your gear selection. To turn it on you just want to hit the starter which is 1 and that will automatically start it. You can use W and S to increase the throttle or decrease the throttle. Although since I have it in neutral it's not actually going to decrease the throttle. Just cause it's weird like that, I don't know why. But if I put it in the first gear the uh, vehicle will start moving. And I did make this track design which actually has the interlacing tracks like the real vehicle did. But I did have to basically make it not look like a full track. It's split in the two. I mean for the side it looks pretty good. But uh, moving on. Once you get it actually moving, right now this is at idle speed, it's about 45% throttle. If I increase the throttle, it'll go up to 1000 RPM, and engine temperature will increase, and max speed is about 21 at this uh, throttle setting. If I engage gear 2, the engine will shut off. But that's because I didn't have my finger on the throttle. So when you go to, from gear 1 to gear 2, you want to have the throttle all the way in. And then engage gear 2. And that'll allow you a smooth transition. It doesn't actually decrease your RPM. Just because I'm not very good at transmission and stuff like that. But it will increase your speed by about 3 kilometers per hour. But uh, that's it for the operation. Uh, so we'll get on to the rear gun, I guess. It also has park and brake and reverse, which you can use. Alright, so moving to the rear. I get into the gunner's seat, I have the gun sight right in front of me. To my left, I have the controls. So I can make the go left or right. It doesn't do a full 360, just because the seats will collide with this. And also because I'm using a compact robotic pivot instead of a velocity. That's the word. And then you can uh you can uh, raise the gun up and down. Doesn't actually fire, but I think you'll get the idea. But uh, that's it for this. So I'll see you all in the next episode, or video, whatever I make, I don't really know.